Despite a stellar global box office collection of $560 million, Tom Cruise's mission, Impossible 7 has left the studio facing a substantial $40 million loss. The film, directed by Christopher McQuarrie and featuring Cruise alongside Haley Atwell, Rebecca Ferguson, and Vanessa Kirby, was a high-budget venture, ranking 15th on the list of the most expensive films ever made, with a budget of $291 million. Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1, the seventh installment in the iconic franchise, opened just 10 days before the blockbuster releases of Oppenheimer and Barbie. While the movie initially had a promising box office run, ultimately, it couldn't offset its budgetary constraints. To break even, Mission Impossible 7 needed to earn over $600 million, given its substantial production costs. However, it fell short of this mark grossing $560 million globally. This significant shortfall has resulted in a disappointing financial outcome for the film's producers. The simultaneous release of Oppenheimer and Barbie, both of which have been generating billions in revenue, likely contributed to Mission Impossible 7's struggle to compete. These two major releases dominated the box office, overshadowing other films in their wake. In summary, Despite its impressive box office performance, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 suffered a $40 million loss, primarily due to its high production costs and competition from other blockbuster releases. This financial setback underscores the challenges even a successful film can face in recouping its substantial budget in today's competitive movie industry landscape.